gosh, what am I doing? Wait a minute, am I in focus? Hang on a second. Of course I'm in focus. I'm in manual focus. I don't have to worry about that. I set it, I forget it. I forgot that I had set it. Anyway, man, I need to start recording. Today has started. Took Jet to school. That was hard. The morning, kids. I gotta get started. I need to edit the vlog. I need to edit the vlog and publish. All right, we gotta race through this, guys. We have to race through this. We're running out of time. It's 9.30. All right, all you freaks and geeks, this is my vlogging setup. I mentioned in my first vlog, this was the dedicated vlogging setup. For this shoot, I'm using a different microphone, I'm reading from a teleprompter, I'm shooting in full manual versus auto ISO, but the camera and the lens, that's all the same, so. Stick with me through this. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as I can. Here's what I like about the setup, or here's what's working really well for vlogging with it. The camera body is a Nikon D500, and it offers extremely fast access to video settings. Now the ones that I care about the most are the front dedicated video record button, because I don't like to program my shutter release to activate video recording for some reason. The placement of the live view buttons match up really well with my ring finger when I'm in front of the camera. And all this really means is that with one hand, I can turn on the camera, I can activate video, and I can start recording. Hang on, Quincy wants to be in the video. Do you want to come say hi? Hi! Okay, <laughs> okay say bye. Bye! All right, go play, okay? I'll be right there. All of this like quick access stuff, I know it sounds silly, but it's become more and more valuable for getting quick shots of life with kids. And that's a good enough reason. You'll understand when you have kids. They're like tiny, rapid, raging Dr. Seuss energy ball characters that just got a shot of adrenaline and are completely unaware of their awkward but innocent, awesome, and perfect humor. No, yeah, that's like the best definition of kids that I've, yes. Okay, I really like the power aperture buttons that are on the front of the camera. These are customizable buttons, but I love this feature because it keeps me away from changing my shutter speed when I move from a dark to a bright shot. And it's nearly an unnoticeable adjustment that I can make in real time while I'm recording. I love the electronic stabilization on this camera. For the small price of a small digital crop, it just works really well. I like how confident I feel when I pick this camera up. It's heavy, it scoffs at rain, which can be a big deal in Oregon, I don't know if you guys heard. It has a mag alloy body and it just feels strong or pro in your hands. I like the articulating screen and likewise, it, when I use it, it's super strong, it's a little stiff. I remember being really worried when I would use my ADD screen, the little flip out screen. And it worked fine, but I was always worried about like ripping it off or something. It just felt light, plastic, I don't know. The CamVat, I've got to look up how to say that. The CamVat, let's call it CamVate. Let's call it CamVate. That's what's, the CamVate digital SLR cage is awesome. I love having the wooden handle. It gives me a second grip, which gives me better chances at smoother shots. I love how it's all basically cheese plates that you can mount like 50 different things to and I love the top handle that allows for easy walking around shots or just a third confident handle. It's a quality built cage made from like all metal pieces and for what I think is around like 80 bucks 
It'll fit most cameras if I'm not mistaken. All right, the Tokina 12 to 24 lens is just right for this daily run and gun video making. It's not too big, but you know, it's not a cheap plastic lens either. It's got a decent weight to it, and it's easy to adjust both the zoom and the focus with nice grippy rings. F4 has been great, and I usually have it set to about two feet for focus, and I feel like most of the time my shots are sharp enough to tell the story. Again, every now and then I'll stop down to meet the 180 degree uh, shutter frame rate rule, and I'm super pleased with the image. The lens is crazy affordable at just over 200 bucks for the newest version. This is the old one and they don't make them anymore from what I can tell. The things that I'm missing from this camera and setup for this much video use, Okay, I'd be lying if I didn't mention video autofocus. I've trained myself to use manual focus and I wouldn't trade that skill for anything, but knowing that the new mirrorless Nikon cameras have really good video autofocus now, I wish I could depend on that from this camera. Okay, redundant memory for video. Okay, yes, you can do this, but not with the built-in memory cards. To record video to two spots at once, I need to use the HDMI out to something like an Atomos Ninja for one source, and then, yeah, one of the memory card slots for the other. And I, I just wish that I could use both of the built-in slots for video like I can do with photographs. It's an easy-to-use feature, and it's professional, and it just it's peace of mind, people. Quick side tangent, I think that memory and the way that it's used is going to change in the camera industry soonish. Okay, my microphone is the Nikon ME1. I hate this microphone. Besides it being a simple plug-and-play device that's nice and small and it's directional and it's lightweight and... Okay, I guess it's not all that bad, but I just can't stand all the noise that it comes with because it's depending on the terrible built-in preamp in the camera body. It's nice because I don't hear any of the body noise like the lens drive or my hands kind of adjusting the features or pressing any of the buttons. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a test video, uh, you know, like a review video to show you the different microphones. Just the built-in mic, the uh, ME1 mic that I'm using, and this uh, Zoom H5 that I have set up for this video right now. My motivation for that video is building super fast. Don't even get me started with the Yankees right now. Guys, I think that that's it. I love using this camera lens cage combo. It's easy to grab and go. It's simple, easy to change the video settings and the cage versus the Joby Gorillapod. It's a very small footprint. I just put an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom and I use a Peak Design camera strap to free up my hands when I'm not shooting. What I think I'm going to do is a deep dive review and setup video on the D500 soon. Because for like 1900 bucks right now, it's one of the best prosumer APS-C digital SLRs on the market. Every vlog I make this month is going to be with this camera, and I have absolute confidence in it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I hate baseball.